in this video, I've got some money game gameplay for you in regs in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to get better at Madden 21 through tips, through strategies, just like this one. We're basically going to take you inside my mind and share with you exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and uh, what you can learn from me on it. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that uh, below as I'm getting my stuff set up here. Uh, this is a live commentary, so I'm live right into a game here uh, and just gonna be sharing with you kind of what I'm thinking and why I'm doing it now. On, uh, If you have any questions about the video or about what I've done in the video, you can always feel free to text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen, um, so that way you can get a hold of me. You can always text me. Uh, that is my personal cell phone number, so feel free anytime to just shoot me a text and uh, and let me know what's going on. So, uh, all that being said here, we are going to jump into our first play. Now, it looks like my opponent uh, is going to be running some uh, trips tied in uh, offense here, so I've got to be a little bit careful here right off the gate. Um, see we've got uh, a little curl flat, looks like, with a little drag route. You in the corner route and Zadarius Smith is going to get home and we are going to get the sack right off of the gate here. Now, uh, one of the things that I want to talk about as far as a money game goes, whenever you're playing for money, and, and, and this is why I've got to develop the habit a little bit myself, playing for money is a lot different than just chilling and playing for subscribers. You know, every, every possession uh, matters. And so because of that, you know, I'm going to play a little bit differently whenever I play for money. So anyway, here he's going to go to PA. It looks like he's going to be running some PA boot over. Um, let's see if he tries to throw the crossing route. And he's going to throw right across his body. Somehow makes a magical catch. And those are the things, like, whenever you're playing for money, those are the things uh, that kill you. You play really, really good defense, and then just somehow they're able to just complete something on you. Um, that's absolutely critically bad. Um, and right there, another dropped interception. You know, and those are the things. That's what I'm talking about. Whenever you play for money, everything is heightened. And one of the things that you have to do whenever you're playing somebody for money is you almost have to kind of forget a little bit that you're playing for money. You have to kind of play a little bit loose. You can't just be uptight all the time. It's probably one of the things that I struggle with the most uh, whenever I'm playing for money uh, is the fact that I just get really, really uptight. So anyways, right here, uh, looks like he's going to do some motion over. Probably going to be on a slant route. I just got to watch the running back. If the running back goes quick to the flat, a little tight and apprentice. Uh, a little tight end apprentice, and that's okay. That's a good job by him. That's the whole point of him picking the Chiefs, so he can literally run that one route right there with that crossing route on the trip side in. Now, uh, what I like to do, uh, kind of on the first drive, is really all I'm trying to do, accomplish here is I'm just trying to hold him to a field goal. One of the things that I like to do is try to make my goals achievable, um, and so I'm just trying to hold him to a field goal. I'm not trying to completely bag him. You know, I don't expect to be able to do that. Uh, obviously, he has the Chiefs. Uh, right here with Mahomes, and um, you know, obviously, he's gonna have a plan, so I have to be kind of prepared for that. Now, the defense that I'm running in this video, I haven't talked about that yet, is my 335 wide defensive guide. Um, so, if you want to get the full ebook uh, to what I'm doing defensively, uh, that is available in the description of this video, okay? So, uh, first and foremost, here and a little quick snap right there, uh, and he, right there, you see, I think that was Darius Smith. One of the things that I don't think he, I don't think he has his his uh, his roster set up too great here. I'm not quite sure if he's got his guy um, there to be able to to handle that. So, uh, anyways, just jumping off here again, and we really need to try to uh, let's see here. We're gonna go with this right here. Now, remember last time uh, he ran a crossing route to the tight end, so we're gonna put a little uh, little zone out there for that, and we're able to get him on a third and twenty one into a rollout sack or uh, throw out a sack. So that's gonna force a punt, and and really you can't be mad at that if you're if you're on my side. Um, I'll you know really kind of did what we needed to do. Now offense has got to go down and score a touchdown. And the offense that I am running in this game is my bunch tight end offensive ebook. So if you want to get that bunch tight end ebook, that's in the available in the description as well. Um, each ebook is just 15 bucks a piece. So if you want to get the offense, it's 15 bucks. And if you want to get the defense, it is also 15 bucks. So um, hopefully that's relatively affordable for you. And if it's not, just text me and uh, we can figure it out. But but anyways, um, yeah, running the bunch tight end here. And really the biggest goal here, I don't necessarily have to get seven. Um, I want to get seven, but a field goal is honestly fine. 
Um, a field goal is, is honestly fine here. I just am trying to not, you know, make any major mistakes, especially whenever you're playing with such a small window of time. Any mistake that you make is absolutely heightened in a money game, especially in, you know, a short game like this. So uh, my got to be careful to not make any crazy mistakes. You don't want to be hesitant, but at the same time, you, you don't want to throw interceptions. You don't want to fumble. Those are things that are really, really important. And so as you see, as I kind of go throughout this first drive, I obviously need to see kind of what his game plan is defensively and how he's going to defend the bunch tight end. But I also need to make sure that I'm not, you know, just trying to throw stuff and trying to force it. Um, I'm not in a, I'm in a position of strength right now um, because I did get the first stop. And again, competitive man is a little bit different than just regular batting because it all is about it's all about possessions. The games go so fast. Um, and so the simple schemes, in my opinion, are the ones that have the most success. So anyways, all that to say, um, looks like we're going to be running the same defense. Uh, he's running bunch tight end as well, or uh, three through five as well. So hopefully we'll be able to have some success in this game. Um, so right out of the gate here, and there's the delay fade up the top. And uh, good job by me getting up. And uh, he's going to go right into a timeout. I don't know if he's going to jump into he, – he can't pause the game again. So I guess he's doing that so he's got some uh, time for his adjustments. But um, really what we want to try to accomplish on this drive, like I said, is we want we just want to kind of figure out what is he – what's his base calls, what's his base coverages. And that's why I always like to start out with my power play. The PA boot over is definitely my most um, important play. Uh, just as far as like that's my power play that's the bread and butter that's the play that you know we must make go if he can't stop that play uh, we will run that again and again and again as you see right there once again the delay fade able to get up the field and now we're in a situation you know and, and i talk about it a little bit it's like jab 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 right hook you know we've ran uh p but over a few times here now we're going to go to curl flat corner just kind of catch him in a quick snap uh scenario you know we're just going to check it down here to the delay drag that delay drag I cannot tell you how uh, significant of a route that is. And now this is where, you know, and again, in competitive Madden, it's a little bit different. Now you have to start thinking about the clock a little bit. Obviously, the Chiefs can score fast. Any team that has a 99-speed receiver can certainly score uh, fast, especially with Mahomes and, and Tyreek Hill. You, you definitely have to honor that about the Chiefs. But at the same time, remembering that we get ball out of half, and so you're definitely thinking about the clock a little bit here. You got the ball on the 16-yard line. You got second and one. So what I want to do here is I just want to kind of test his run defense. I want to see what he's going to do against the run, uh, how he's going to defend it. Here you see that man coverage moved over. It shows me that he's probably in some man coverage. So we're going to go to the stretch here and just kind of try to pick up the first down. Um, you know, in all honesty, um, that's going to bring up a third down in inches. Now, uh, now that's actually probably perfect for my for what I needed um, because now what this allows me to do is it allows me to come out, you know, and just simply keep the clock ticking. Um, it's third in inches, so obviously this should be a relatively easy uh, thing to pick up. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but I'm just saying like the odds are definitely stacked in my favor here to be able to pick this down and distance up, and also gives me kind of a preview of what his strategy is going to be going into the goal line. So we're going to go right into fullback dive here, but. I as you look at the top right here you see the clock ticking um this is part of being smart you know ideally we would not give him the ball back and again i only need three points you know so if i if i if i get you know tackled there that's actually perfect for me because now um now i'm going to be in a position where i can go down i can take a lot of the clock with me i can you know i can i'm able to do that so that's a little bit of game management there you know from this from this uh bunch tight end offense and from this run heavy playbook and you're going to see it actually will pay off. I mean, we can keep the clock uh, ticking here a little bit. Um, and, and also, you know, just kind of playing to the strength of the offense. But at the same time, obviously, I'm a pass heavy player. But when I play for money, if I can if I can take the clock here, like and, and leave him in a position where even if I only get three points, he doesn't have any timeouts and doesn't have any way to score. Like that's kind of the, that's not a bad position. So like right here, like good defense by him, he gets me, but we're gonna be able to take this clock down 
into the uh, two minute warning. So really all we're trying to do, okay, we're just gonna go through our playbook. We're gonna set up our plays, you know, kind of get ready for this next sequence of downs uh, is really all we're trying to do offensively. Um, and so the reason why all this is significant is because as you see that clock continue to tick, and again, I come back to what I said about um, my whole purpose of this drive. I only need a field goal. I don't need a touchdown. Why? Because out of halftime, I'm gonna be able to get the ball back and I'm gonna be able to go down and have an opportunity to score. And my confidence um, in my offense is actually relatively high right now. So um, here we are gonna go to the air more than likely. Uh, we're gonna go to one of my favorite red zone money plays, but if he gives me a look, you see here, like this look right here, right? This is not a, you know, I mean, he's showing man coverage. So we're just, we're just going to step down now the, because he's spreading his line and doing all this. We're going to run it again just to get the clock moving a little bit um, and just kind of see, you know, how he defends this run right here. Uh, not going to go stretch, going to go more zone weak uh, and just try to get a couple yards. And again, get that clock moving. He should call timeout. Now we're going to take one timeout. And now what you're going to see is this a third down and eight third down and manageable we get positive yardage and we keep ourselves in third down and manageable and now we're going to go to kind of our bread and butter uh red zone play here this is inside switch uh, my favorite red zone play so far in the game we'll see how it goes here but again we'll just see what he does and he runs man and that's actually really really unfortunate that we didn't catch that so here we're in a situation we have to take our field goal now this is best case scenario for him uh we had the first down it's just a gun sometimes with a gunslinger quarterback and you can't get mad at this this is kind of the blessing and the curse but sometimes with the gunslinger quarterback the ball will come out so fast that it won't it won't um like it, it'll do like what it did there where it just kind of glitches out the receiver and he doesn't catch it. Sometimes that happens and there's nothing you can do. I mean, there's some things you can do about it. You can obviously maybe have a little bit better click on or something like that. But you know what? We got a bit back on defense. You know, ideally we would have at least taken this last time out. Now he's got plenty of time to be able to go down and get three, but this still puts us in a decent advantageous position. Um, you know, should we have ran the ball in second down? I still think I probably should have, um, you know, but anyways, let's just dive in here and play some defense. So it uh, looks like it's going to be gun trips tied in uh, for him uh, and I can't adjust so that's actually really really unfortunate for me um, but he kind of ran that simple combo and that's a huge interception for Will Redmond and we'll see if we can't get back for seven and we are going to be able to go up 10 nothing that's huge and that's one of the things that I really really like about this um, this 335 defense and that's why I, I wrote an ebook on it um, with the zone drops, you, you can actually run three or four different variants of the 335 wide defense. You can run a man pressure heavy blitz meta. You can run a zone. I mean, the, the beauty of the 335 wide is there's so many things you can do. You can run match coverage. You can run man coverage. You can run zone coverage. You can have a blitz. You can have coverage. You can, you know, all of those different things. And so, anyways, the reason I bring that up is the curl flats. When you put the curl flats on 10 yards, um, they will jump stuff like that. Um, when they're when they're in a rollout situation so uh right here uh this is a little bit risky here but we're gonna try to catch him in pa boot over i don't know if he'll run it or not on us uh but we're gonna try to catch him and of course we messed up there um so we're just trying to kind of catch him we almost get another interception right there i don't know how we didn't get that we're trying to kind of bait him in but uh it doesn't look like he's going to be interested in doing that so what we're going to do uh, and he loves to quick snap here. So, um, all right, right here. So here we are. We're coming out here. We got to take this away. And Jair Alexander, there it is. That's a beautiful. That's this defense is playing phenomenal right now. Um, little stop and go. That was actually a really decent uh, return. And now we're in a really good position. Now at this point, you're up by two possessions. You've got the you've got ball coming out of halftime. And your offense has played fine. Like, the offense hasn't played bad. Um, we just didn't capitalize on that red zone possession early. So, like, right here, you know, you're just kind of keeping it simple. Uh, and he busts a coverage over the top. We'll take a touchdown, and that's 17 to nothing. Now, in my opinion, it, when you're playing for money, your goal is really to get up by 17. Once you're up by 17... In my mind, that is when you want to start clocking. You want to start working the clock. You want to start really kind of, mold, um, you know, uh, 
basically milking the clock a little bit. Uh, and so if I get the ball back, that's kind of my plan. Uh, now it becomes a game against the clock. We get ball coming out of half. We know we're going to be able to take um, some time off the clock that way. He's got 47 seconds. Now, a touchdown right here will be huge for him. A uh, touchdown will be huge for him. And so what we're going to try to do is we're just going to try to keep everything in front of us here. You're going to even notice I'm going to probably back off the hooks to about 10 yards. Uh, and curl flats are going to back off to about 15. And basically, we're going to say if you want to throw the flats, you know, be my guest. Uh, but we're not we're not going to we're not going to try to stop anything really to the flats. You're going to see a lot more just simply cover four. Um that's, that's what you're going to see a lot on this drive here. And I'm just going to take any crossing routes myself, take that away. And he's going to throw me another interception, but I did not get my feet down. Defense is playing really, really good um, for this one. And, um, you know, so far, so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of ch transition up a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go to some man coverage. Now we know that our responsibility is 100% the running back. Um, if the running back goes out here, he doesn't send the running back out. Uh, and he's going to throw me another one, and we're going to go ahead and take that. And now this is where this is where I say it comes down to clock management. Um, we're not going to make any, you know, this is where I think it's really important. You don't want to make any mistakes. Um, it, the only way that he gets back into this game, because we're literally about to go up by not just three possessions, but three touchdowns. The only way that he gets back in this ball game is if we allow him to get back in this ball game. Um, if if we don't allow him to get back in the game, this game is over. So on our end, we've got to do a good job of a little bit more game management. Again, a little bit more milking of the clock, taking it all the way down. We're gonna you know call timeout here at three seconds if we can, and then and then we're going to obviously kick our field goal. So uh, what we've been playing lights out defensively. Offense has been fine. Offense hasn't needed to do a whole lot. Um, it, it, it hit one good read, uh, a couple good routes, but but really uh, it's been more of a defensive performance. Um, and I think we're going to miss that kick because I am terrible on special teams and we're going to go into halftime here, but we do get ball. Obviously you got to watch for onside kick. This is one of my cardinal rules. I always have a hand towel at my side and here's the deal. Whenever I, um, am, am in a position where I'm going to receive the ball, I'm going to go ahead and just wait a little bit, see what he comes out in. And then I'm going to call my play. You see exactly what we expected onside kick right out of the gate trying to get a free possession to get him back in the game. And uh, normally these onsides are relatively easy to get. And uh, as you can see, we're able to get it as long as you come at an onside recover. So offensively, we've been playing really, really good. Now it looks like he's going to go ahead and uh, and quit out here. So we're going to submit our score, finish out this, uh, this money game. But good game to this guy. Thank you for watching. And if you want to get those eBooks, those are available in the description, both my offense and my defense. If you want to get a free sample of either one of those, just text me and let me know which one you like, and I can send it to you via text. Thanks for watching, guys.